Okay, I want to show you how to record a meeting in Zoom. And there's actually kind of two major ways you can do this. If you're in a meeting uh, that is not currently being recorded, you're going to see a little dot at the bottom of the, of the Zoom window. It says record, or you can just turn on a recording and have a record in that moment. More often, I find what I do and what a lot of other Zoom users do is you can actually configure re your recording settings in Zoom ahead of time. And there's actually a lot of great options here. So in my settings, I go to settings and there's a couple of tabs here. I'm gonna click recording and it shows me all of my different options. So for example, local recording, host can give meeting participants permission to record locally. Cloud recording, which is my preference. So it's, it's recording and it's saving those recordings on Zoom. You can choose, do I wanna record the active speaker with shared screen? My preference is record the gallery, meaning every person's video screen, their video along with whoever's sharing. You can choose audio, you can do, you know, all sorts of different options uh, to make sure that you're recording the people and the things that you want. Other options, when it's producing the recording, you can do it in such a way that it's recording uh, and it's gonna build a file just for the speaker and just of what's being shared of everything. Like you can get five or six recordings coming out of this. So a lot of different options there on what you want to save. Personally, again, I like record the, the gallery, all people, all video, and then the person who's sharing their screen, it's recording audio. I wanna save panelist chat to the recording, display participants' names in the recording, all of these, these things are things I find very helpful. Instead of recording locally to my computer because I don't actually need all of these recordings, I, I just wanna grab them on a case-by-case -case basis, I'll do record in the cloud. And then I'll get an email after the call is done with a link where I can uh, go and access that recording or I can share that with others. Uh, I can do require passcode to access shared cloud recordings. I have that turned on. So I'm gonna get a password I can share with people so not everybody can view it. Viewers can see transcript auto delete recordings after a certain amount of days if you wanna kind of clean that queue of recordings up. And then something I find really helpful is the recording disclaimer. It's gonna be important for some people that it actually has an automated message when they join that call that tells them, hey, this call is being recorded. Uh, you can have that as a verbal disclaimer, an audio disclaimer, or you can have it as a sort of written notification that the person sees. Generally, it's just making sure that everybody's aware that you are capturing a recording for compliance purposes or to let them know that they can ask you if they need a copy of that recording after the fact.